Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is the Empirical Formula of Hydrogen Cyanide? Okay, so remember that the empirical formula is a little bit different than the molecular formula. Molecular formula. So let's take a, a molecule like this. So it has two carbons and four hydrogens. Now its molecular formula is just writing down what we see. So C2H4. But we can see that we could technically reduce these numbers uh, and divide both by two, and we could have CH2, and it would be the same ratios as our molecular formula. Now this, the one that's completely reduced, is the empirical formula. So just a good definition reminder. So cyanide is a common ion. That's one carbon and one nitrogen. And then hydrogen, again, is just going to be this atom. And so put them together, and you have hydrogen cyanide. And now in this case, the empirical formula is the same thing as the molecular formula because you can't really reduce, you know, one, one, and one. It's already there. Um, so some facts about hydrogen cyanide. It's extremely poisonous. Um, I'm sure everyone has heard of like, a James Bond, a villain taking a cyanide pill. Uh, that's what Hitler took when he is going to kill himself. And so uh, cyanide pill isn't hydrogen cyanide. It's a bunch of different cyanide salts, but you still have this group here. Um, so extremely toxic. Uh, its molar mass is 27.03 grams per mole. Um, and yeah, so I guess this main unfun fact is that it's extremely poisonous. And empirical formula is the same as molecular formula. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is the Empirical Formula of Hydrogen Cyanide?